Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming. In this session, we are going to learn to fit linear model to a data. I came across a very interesting, very small data set in a textbook, a physics textbook, 11 science uh, in Maharashtra State Board. And that uh, data set contained latitudes and gravity along those latitudes, value of G along those latitudes. 10 latitude values are there, 0 to 90 separated by 10. I will run this line to get that sequence and we'll see those latitudes. And these 10 latitude values are there, 0, 10, 20, 30. Then G across that, I typed in that uh, data here using the C function or combined function. And these 10 data set values along these latitude values are there. I will run that also. And we'll put that into data frame called as df. And that using this function data dot frame in bracket latitude and g. These two vectors will include in that data frame. I will run that. And now we have the data frame. We'll see the data frame. We can see plot of that data frame also, plot df, very easy to use function plot and we can see the plot. Okay, On this plot, we'll fit the ab line also, the model line and inside this we'll fit the model line using the uh, model, linear model itself, lm and this function lm is for that and you can see in the tooltip text, it requires the formula first and formula contains g then this tilde symbol which is there on your keyboard above the tab button and below the escape button. The tilde symbol uh, specify that uh, the independent variable will follow there. And lat. They, this we can read that gravity is determined by latitude or gravity the uh, response variable is determined by the latitude the independent variable. And these two variables are coming from the data frame df. And this is sufficient for that and will run and a line will be plotted uh, on this plot, control enter and line is there. And we can see that those points are, uh, some points are above that, some points are below that. But uh, after 40, those most of those points are above the line and below 40, most of those points are below the line. Uh, this is a uh, little... Uh, this is a point to consider more further, but we will not consider in this session that. And uh, here now we will fit the model explicitly and we will save that model into object named as mod. Okay. Again, we will copy this model there and we will bring that here. And when we run that, the object, um, the uh, all the results of this model will get saved in the object mod and we'll see the mod object summary of that mod object summary of mod and we'll run that and you can see here uh, the summary where the first will be the call the output will be shown as the call uh, this lm is the call and gravity is determined by latitude is the formula data will be df and these are the residuals how residuals are distributed and coefficients the intercept is 9.776 latitude is a uh, coefficient for latitude is 6.6201 and if we want to have equation for this model this will be the equation of the model that coefficient of latitude will copy this coefficient and this will be multiplied by latitude then we have to add intercept in that intercept and this intercept is there and this is the equation of the model after that we are interested in how significant that model is the intercept here is uh, significant because this value is quite below 0 uh, 0 0.05 which is uh, usual alpha and it is significant to the point 0 0.001 we are here this is 0 0.001, very highly significant that intercept is. Latitude is also very highly significant because, because these three stars are there. And we cannot get this by chance. This is just because of the data which is there. And uh, how much explanation uh, is provided by this model? 
uh, this r squared value multiple r squared value is there that is 0.979 means uh, almost 98% of the data is being explained adjusted r squared value this value is the uh, r squared value only but it uh, compensate for the addition of the variables but this is the simple regression model therefore no much effect will be there it will not be much different from the multiple r squared and this is 0.9769 means almost 0.98% not much different and f statistics is also there 381 with degrees of 1 and 8 two variables are there therefore first degree of freedom will be 1 and uh, in each one uh, 10 observations are there and two variables are there therefore 10 minus 2 the degree of uh, freedom ne next degree of freedom will be 8 and this f statistic value we consider to know about the probability and how much uh, probable our results are uh, by chance results are and that uh, probability is 4.9 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to minus 0 8 this says that our results are not by chance our model is actually statistically highly significant okay but whether this model is following those uh, assumptions or not because for linear regression model assumptions are the data shall be uh, correlated these two variables shall be correlated with each other and for that we'll go for the core test for this latitude and g and when we run that you can see that uh, 0 0.99 uh, correlation is there core value is there almost very high degree of correlation is there between these two variables okay. we'll see the plots also diagnostic plots for this model we can plot the model object the very simple generic plot function will be used for that and mod when we run that we'll get multiple plots we have to uh, go to the cursor and press enter there uh, to get the first plot and this is our first plot ideally those points shall be uh, this red line shall be uh, horizontal going through zero and those points shall be symmetrically distributed over the zero and there shall not be any specific pattern here we can see a, a wave like pattern there this is not good for the model uh, if a perfect random distribution of residual versus fitted values are there then we can see that our model we can say that our model is uh, behaving perfectly and uh, this is not the only indication that model is good or not we cannot say much about that and our data set is very small therefore again our reliability will be uh, much less here and here the QQ residuals are there and most of those points are along the line Okay. If those points are exactly on the line, then we can say that those are perfectly ran, uh, randomly distributed. But these are along the line, therefore we can say that these points are normally distributed. Okay. We will use another test also to prove this. Uh, then a scale location plot is also there. Those points should be symmetrically distributed again along that line. And the uh, red line shall be almost horizontal. But this is not bad also. This is not bad. Uh, the uh, most of those points uh, quite uh, little less but symmetric uh, distribution is there next is the Cook's distance plot this plot shows that uh, some variables are influencing these two variables variable 1 and 10th variable first and 10th variable are influencing our model much if we remove these two variables then our model performance will be better if all those points are there uh, in the Cook's area, Cook's distance, and not above that, uh, not in that uh, er region for consider consideration, <coughs> then the model was perfect. But here two points are influencing the model significantly. Therefore, those two points should be removed. But only 10 points are there in the model, and there is limitation to removal of the points. Uh, if bigger data is there they can we can uh, certainly remove many of those points now we'll move for the prediction and for prediction we'll create a data frame called as new data and that's the requirement of the predict function and new data will get using the data frame function data dot frame and this data frame which we are going to use for prediction shall contain the independent variable with the same name that is latitude LAT and latitude is equal to C will provide three values one value uh, will be 0 0.15 because it's not there uh, latitude not 0 0.15 15 it's not there in our data then 45 will be one and 75 will be the next one okay. we'll uh, run that to save in the new data and we'll see the new data as the data frame it contains only one variable now that is the latitude 
to this we'll add the predicted variable new data dollars dollar symbol and there we'll add the predicted g and to this we'll use this assignment function we'll use the predict function to predict from the model the predict function takes first argument as the model object that will be our mod and then second object is the new data that will be new data and when we run that predictions will be done on those latitude values 15 45 and 75 and will, sh will be shown the prediction we'll see the data frame select it and press control enter to run that and we can see uh, the uh, predicted g values from the model for these three latitude values and uh, those are almost good okay. and that's how we can predict from the uh, fitted model lab object uh, it's a very simple demonstration how to fit linear model how to test for assumptions of the linear model and how to predict using the linear model that's all for this session if you have liked the video please uh, click the like button Share this video with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet. Thanks. Thanks for watching.